Map number five of Rush, Vile House. And what are the tips that we're going to learn this time? Well, strategic infighting. Size up what's going on in front of you, and if the monsters look like they could have an infight, let them have it, instigate it, and let them go to town. Pick your battleground. So sometimes just because there's a little corridor and a big outside area, it doesn't necessarily mean either one's the best one. Use contextual um, application to decide which one is the better place to be and fight from there. And pumping rockets. This one's pretty self-explanatory, but if you can find a choke point to pump rockets in, do it because pumping rockets, as long as you've got enough of them, is often a great way to get rid of the enemies. Now, let's get into the main video and play Vile House. Vile House. So we start outside in the snow as a bit of continuity, but there's nothing here. We just need to go into the Vile House with this very cool use of quake textures and... Okay, that Revenant is up in this room here. It can't... Well, it shouldn't be able to see us. It's probably a reject table issue or something. What we really need to deal with is these two crowds of guys. So, let's just get them infighting, a bit of strategic infighting. Okay, that hasn't totally worked out, but let's just get this started anyway. Perfect, now they're both fighting. And they're all fighting too, that's exactly what we want to have happen. Once the Revenants are dead, because they almost certainly will die, we just have to deal with the Hell Knights. Who are a joke. The classic joke goats, and we can move on. But they've been softened up by the Revenants. So yeah, this map... And the next map and map one are probably the least slaughtery in the set, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're easy or any less fun to play. All right, this guy's even harder than you might think because... Yeah, he teleports away immediately and you don't really have any cover to avoid him. So that's what I usually do, just get stuck into him. You're gonna get zapped probably. But there's med kits, so it's not really a huge deal. Okay. Imps. Imps are gone. And we collect some ammo. The revenant that we woke up is over this invisible bridge that raises. He always fires immediately. Hey, that is the first time in a long time that I've seen him not fire immediately. Okay. The main room is now filling with flying enemies. But actually, they're not a big deal. Super shotgun time. A couple of pain elementals, a couple of cacodemons. I use the super shotgun. Oh no, I've fallen down. That's horrible. Because now the pain elementals can see me and they'll be firing lost souls. Okay. Actually, all good. I'm on the other side to what I'm used to, but it really doesn't matter. Just take him out with the super shotgun. This is a surprisingly nice fight. Like, you know, Archie has decided to be pretty nice to you here. Could have easily included, like, a couple more Pain Elementals and Cacodemons, and the fight wouldn't have been that much harder, but still maybe a little bit more interesting. Whatever. Here comes the meat of the map. As soon as I walk in here, there will be a slightly slaughtery fight. Actually, I'm going to pre-prepare the gun that I think is better for it. Grab some rockets. Come over here, there's barons hiding behind these poles that I would like to wake up. As you can see, lots of hell knights, a couple of revenants. Okay, here we go. I was waiting for those extra revenants to teleport in, like where were they? It's really not hard to get them all to infight. And then you can just stand at this end of the arena and just pump rockets like I'm doing. Pumping rockets is a bit of a slaughter map theme, and I'm doing it. And deliberately avoiding the supercharge because it's really not necessary yet. I will grab it at the end of this fight though because, you know, having 200 health is always just nice. And there's one Hell Knight left. I'm so confident I will kill with the super shotgun. I'm going to grab the supercharge anyway. Off we go. Oh yeah, the imps! Always forget about the imps. I'll go... Oh, no! Oh my god. Okay, shit. I was just about to say, oh man, I made it through that so good. I didn't even cop a hit. Did you see me dodging? And then they sandwiched me like pros. And I lost more than 100 health. So there you go. Like, imps can absolutely mess you up if you're not uh, respectful enough. And I was not respectful enough. And I got what I deserved. 
so these next couple of fights are gonna be a bit harder because well yep i hope you're all laughing i would be too if i wasn't playing the map right now this here is the secret i'm a keyboard player so that took a little bit of lining up just standing on the edge there and shooting that thing opens this room i just want the backpack for now the uh, berserk's not necessary as of yet you never know when i might want the 100 health now we come to this fight, and look, rocket time, because coming out here and pressing this switch reveals a trap. And you might be inclined to think oh, I should retreat back into this hallway for this trap, right? No, this is a rare instance where I think running out into the fray and into the open is actually the easier strategy to pull off. Okay, there's a lot of revenants around me right now, and their missiles are going bloody everywhere. So just give me a sec. Oh, what a shot. Oh no, imps again! Okay, so there's a pretty decent rev ball following me. Actually, I think now is a reasonable time to come and hide here. And fire rockets along the corridor this way. But yeah, you can probably see if you're looking up to yeah the left here. There's quite a few revenants up here, so that's why I wanted to get off that platform. Retreating into the corridor... Uh, yeah, in a small space with this many revenants, however many it is, like six. Yeah, not fun. Down in where I was, as you just saw, easier. Now here is quite annoying. Uh, when I press this switch, an archfall will lower here and a whole bunch of imps and pinkies will come out of these walls. And it's pretty annoying to deal with, so let's, okay, get out of there. And up here, there's just a few imps who teleport in. Not really a huge deal. But what we really want to do, obviously, is kill the archfile. Staying down there, you don't have that much cover. So he's currently in the middle of reviving a whole bunch of dudes. But you have to be really careful firing down these stairs because... Oh, yes, he's there. That's perfect. Please die now. Perfect. Uh, because you can't see the enemies you're shooting at over the weapon sprite graphics of all bloody things. That's what makes this fight hard, is the uh, inability to look up and down. And I was in, what, like a uh, a little bit of a, a discussion recently with Doom Kid talking about how much I like not being able to look up and down in Doom, and here it is, screwing me. So you live by the sword, you die by the sword sometimes. Um, I used the word discussion there very deliberately. There was nothing untoward whatsoever. It was an awesome, fun discussion to have about, you know, vanilla enthusiasm in Doom. Um, or is his name Kez Gaming? Did the original video. But yeah, Doom Kid is a fantastic member of the Doom community who's a huge friend of the channel. And it was really fun to have that discussion, so I'm not trying to start any beef whatsoever by mentioning that. I'm just saying, like, even I will admit, right there, being, not being able to look up and down was quite annoying. But okay. Uh, we need to actually go back up. We need to go back up. But see, that's kind of, you know, I like the fact that that added some extra challenge, not being able to look up and down right there. But there's an imp. Go screw yourself. Now. Platforming. What I love as a keyboard player. So here I'm going to try an SR50, so i just get it first time. Lovely. We get the red key. But, another fight. Oh, wow, yep, and there's this archfall here. I'm going to get zapped. Oh my god, okay, yep. Pump rockets. Classic pump rockets moment. Hopefully that archfall is actually getting hit by guys. I don't think he is. There's two. Oh man, I forgot there was two. Alright, he's arriving the Barons yet, of course. Just gonna pump rockets, there's one right there that I'm pumping rockets into. Damn it, he didn't even die. I, I really hoped he would have died right there. Okay, there's one right here too. Okay, but he's getting distracted by corpses, we love it. Archfiles and getting distracted by corpses, name of my iconic duo. I'll wait. And they're dead, so pumping rockets, always a viable strategy as long as you have enough rockets to pump. Right. 
Now, only 10 more kills left, eh? You would think. Who's alive? Come on now. Yeah? Yeah, you think so? Didn't think so. The map gets much harder than that still. Okay, so we're gifted a Megasphere, how nice. But, well, yeah, this doesn't look that bad, right? It gets worse. Let's wake these guys up. Shoot. Yep, they've angered the spider demon. Let's press the button. And get the hell back out. Because there's a cyber demon. But it gets even worse than that. I only have five rockets. And yet... There's a whole bunch of arch files right here. So the whole reason I wanted to run away was because of these arch files. Because they'll just be zapping you while you're trying to fight the uh, dudes in that other room. And obviously I don't want that. So hopefully they're all infighting. There's what, four Mancubi. I can kind of see the spider demon still seems to be alive. Come on, Artfile, show yourself. I don't want to use too much plasma because I need to fight a cyber demon, a spider demon, and a bunch of Mancubi as well. Oh, what are you doing? Alright. Did the cyber demon die? Did it? It. Who killed it? Did you kill it? This is the easiest run of this map ever. Look, there's all this ammo here still. What killed the cyber demon? Well, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Vile House is done. I... That cyber demon just got wrecked. And I mean, obviously I wasn't there to even see it. I don't know. Obviously the spider demon and the mancubi must have done it, but that is super lucky. I'll admit, I will freely admit that is super lucky. What normally happens is it teleports in the main room, you kill it with the plasma rifle. You've seen me plasma cyber demons, like even I'm good enough to do that, so whatever, I'm just going to take this run. But that is ridiculously lucky. But hey, Vile House, it is done. Not particularly slaughtery, still kind of fun. I'll see you in the next rush map. Peace.